All right, let's talk about something that every single female first responder is dealing with on a daily basis. It's the reality of working in a high intensity environment. Anyone who works in that type of environment is going to face a, a unique set of challenges that are going to take their toll across the board. So if we look at you as a four dimensional being, we've got your mental, physical, emotional and spiritual wellness. Working in that type of environment is going to affect all of those things. Your body, you're constantly going into physically demanding jobs. So, of course, we have risk of injury. We have pain. We have the effects on our nervous system. When you go into high stress situations and you're constantly moving into that fight or flight mode, that's going to stress out your nervous system and ultimately leave it fried. It can lead to burnout, exhaustion, poor sleep, all of these things that we know that stress does to the physical body. And then, of course, we've got the mental toll that that takes. High stress situations, mental exhaustion, anxiety, catastrophizing about the future and what could happen at the next job, post-traumatic stress disorder, that constant weighing on you that you know there's going to be another emergency, there's going to be another situation to deal with over and over and over again. And then, of course, your emotional well-being, witnessing people at their worst all the time and knowing you have a key role to play in getting them through the worst day of their life, that's hugely emotionally impactful. It can lead to an extremely heavy heart and you're going to feel it. You're carrying the emotional burden for everybody around you. And then, of course, we have your own personal connection to the people around you, your spiritual connection to your, your family, your friends, or your relationships, whether you're religious, your, your connection to whatever God you believe in. It's really easy to lose meaning and connection with these things when you are constantly facing harsh realities and conflict in the world. And that can be deeply, deeply draining. But if we are able to bring awareness to these issues, we can then actually start to look at a new set of possibilities for the future. If we can learn to harness and take care of our body, then we can be in peak physical health. We can increase our energy, our resilience, and actually learn how to control the nerve, nervous system, switching it on and off at will, so that we're still able to use the fight or flight response in order to get the job done, but then learn how to turn it off so that we can recover more effectively and not get burnt out. We can learn how to develop better perspective, a stronger mindset, a more resilient mindset that you can actually go through these stressful situations and then learn how to ultimately disconnect from them in a way that is healthy rather than sedating and turning to various other methods of forgetting about it. We can actually learn how to flip perspective. We can learn how to deal with the stories and the beliefs that we are working with and ultimately build a better mindset. We can learn how to process our emotions and find support in people who have similar experiences and we can find that sense of purpose and reconnect with the people around us. We can actually find value in the work that we're doing rather than feeling like it's always taking something away from us. When you have such an important job and you are giving, 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 and you are doing something as important as saving people's lives, keeping people safe, every life you save takes a little bit away from you. So you have to learn to actually be able to get that back for yourself, to align with your values, to align with your purpose and find that sense of fulfillment in the work that you chose as it once was. It's not easy. It takes training, it takes all kinds of different methods. What I like to use is a four dimensional approach to everything using what we call the three C philosophy. Now, at this stage, if you don't know who I am, my name is Celeste. I'm the founder of Project Tempest and I am a no BS mind coach and I help female first responders deal with the realities of living and working in that job. We use training tools and tactics to move you away from the chaos of your world, get clear about what you ultimately want, and then create something better for yourself across the board in your body, your mind, your emotions, your spiritual world. Now, if you would like a little bit of help with that, we have a free, 100% free, seven-day training experience called the Warriors Upgrade. This is a kickstart for you. You spend seven days working through my 3C philosophy of get out of chaos, get clear about what you want, and create something better for yourself. Super easy to follow. Everything is actionable. If you would like to jump on that, then just let me know by dropping me a line, drop the number seven, and then I'll send that link to you. Or of course, you can drop me a DM with the word uh, Warriors uh, upgrade in there, and then I can send that through to you. But given the work that you do and the problems that you're facing by sitting in a constantly high stress environment, you need to be able to have something to bring that down, something that can help you manage what's going on in your body, manage what's going on in your mind, manage what's going on with your emotions, manage what's going on with your, your spiritual world, your relationships, your connections, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to know how to start doing that, just drop the number seven below and I'll be able to help you with that. In the meantime, let me know your experiences. Let me know what it's like every day working in that high stress situation. What are you experiencing personally? How are you finding ways to cope? What are your methods for coping? And if you want to learn some of mine, you let me know.